Hi everybody, so this is lesson four within the radiance pack. It's the last lesson. Uh, it's quite a nice little lesson really. Now, it's all about small angle approximations. So we use this quite a lot. Um, we use it specifically for when we do differentiation by first principles for a trig function. So the idea is, if the angle is small, we can approximate what the sine and the cos graph looks like on the tan graph. So here's our sine graph. Now we're using radians. So there's like a, a pi by 2, isn't it? And a minus pi by 2. But if you look, if the angle is small, looking around here, the sine graph looks like y equals x. So we've got here that sine that we use sine x and we've used y equals x. And it looks the same. So what we say is if it's sine theta, it's approximately equal to theta because they match. Let's look at the tan graph. So go over to the right hand side. And the tan graph is kind of exactly the same again. Um, but if I look around here, the angle is nice and small. And it looks like the y equals x graph again. So we can say that tan theta is approximately theta. So that one works as well. The cos graph, though, is a little bit more tricky. If you look at the equation for it, it's 1 minus a half theta squared. So if you're starting off from scratch, say you're starting off from uh, minus x squared, it would look like, like that. Oops, a bit of a dodgy picture that, isn't it? It'll go through them points. So then, what I need to do is stretch it out a little bit that way. Hence the half x squared now. But then we need to move it up by one. So that's where we use, that's where kind of this graph of 1 minus a half x squared comes from. So it's just kind of fitting that graph in to make it look the same. So if it's a small angle for cos, then it looks like 1 minus a half x squared. So this is where we get 1 minus a half theta squared. Now we have to be really, really ridiculously careful when we're subbing in. So I always get people to put the theta in brackets. So if you stick a bracket around the theta, then make sure that when you're subbing it's not too bad. Um, right, so it says valid if it's between plus or minus 1, so we're keeping that small. Okay, so this question here, the first question, just wants us, first of all, to change it into radians. Then use the approximation. So my sine theta, so I want to change it into radians. So the 2, I want to times it by pi over 90, because that will change it into radians. So my 2 degrees becomes 2 times by pi over 90. So I've got pi by 45 radians. Oh, I have to stop and make a mistake. 